You know, I did like the suggestion of the sweet heart chicken. Right, that Seems would be great, right? Up and I think she is, uh, you know, the problem with Suey Park, and I say this with Maybe? all due respect, there is, none, is that no, she, she, you know, she doesn't like to explain. She's not into the explanatory journalism. Watch out. Well, and, and really, that's the future of the media is, you know, remember when she was doing that interview with Huffington Post or whoever? Oh, get out of my house! <laughs> uh, she, she, and she was like... Nope, running the wrong way. Come some, on, white somebody, guy, get over there. Somebody was like, you gotta, yeah, you go. you gotta explain what everybody's doing wrong. And she responded, no, I'm not gonna enact Look, that labor not, for you. It's not about explaining, it's about, hey, there's a I'm sorry, I got distracted, there's a bird on Hey guys, Steve Witowski here, uh, back with another episode of Games and Guns. We're going to be playing NBA Jam uh, on Fire Edition. And I've got a uh, sunny bunch of uh, Washington Free Tonight's Beacon here with me. Up. Hello. It's the San Antonio uh, the Spurs versus the Miami Heat. I mean, the big... Never Miami. imitated. Never. Yeah, pass it, LeBron. Step no, you away. suck. Ball pass the ball. Loose. What? Yeah, no. Oh. I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Shoots from That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> nice yeah, slam it! Ooh. Excuse me. Shoot. Shoot. He may not get this all dominated! Yeah. You gotta get the, 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 the there's there's a shot, shot clock. clock. I mean, there was literally advanced. a line warning you. Oh! Oh! It's just like real life. My understanding is that if I just hold the X button down, he dunks. That's about all I've learned so far. Uh, Let's find out. Yep. Right. Up <laughs> I shouldn't have given away that my hit. <laughs> I think that's, well, that's push me over. It's foul. Gotta start over. Start the game over. No. It's not fair. Um, oh, what? Yeah. Pushing is fair. Run. Oh, I figured out how to run. And block. Oh. I'm like the run. Really. I guess. I don't know. Everyone hates the run. That's, that's the only thing I really know. I think that's about right. I would be transition. <clears throat> you know what the left hates? Fun. And humor. Yes, that's true. I hate but everyone loves that out of you. Dwayne Wade, that's what I hate. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, and it's you, we've seen a lot of that this week because the left is kind of freaking out. Yeah, because, because of uh, you guys. Well, yeah, it's in part because of us, but mostly it's they, just, they just can't handle people joking about Hillary Clinton. Potential. Uh, I think you're on fire. Oh, on fire. Uh, so this idea that Hillary Clinton like cannot be made fun of, right? Like that she, if you it's too important uh, to the country that she is too old and has suffered so many traumatic brain injuries that uh, she can't be president, they just lose their minds. Oh, come on! <laughs> Perfect hit. Come on! This idea that you, that if you do something like clearly, cl something clearly fake, like uh, my colleague Andrew Stiles kind of mocked up this ridiculous Photoshop <laughs> of uh, one of the photos from like the, the, the People uh, magazine shoot where she's holding a walker that's like floating off the ground, you know, and it's, it's so totally fake. And Ruth Marcus, who was a Washington Post columnist, literally wrote an entire column that was based on denouncing uh, yeah. Andrew Stiles and the Washington Free Beacon for uh, Hillary Clinton derangement syndrome or some, right. some nonsense. And it's really, it's so telling that they react so poorly to this. They actually, and it's, it is actually telling because they know it's a real concern, right? That yeah. like, you know, I, yeah. people, uh, I think have good reason to be worried about Hillary Clinton's age. If history, well, if history, if, you know, yeah, if, if John you, McCain's if recall, age was fair game, I'm right? Sorry, if you recall, if, a few years back, the left was not so uh, uptight about questioning someone's right. age when they're, they right. might be right for president. Exactly. No, if you you have this situation where you've got John McCain, who is was you know going to be extremely old. Sure. Frankly, I mean, look, I think that and. I, I, I didn't think it was a terribly fair question at the time, but if turnabout is fair play, and I think it frankly is, you know, it's politics, uh, hold hold your enemies to their standards, right? Um, sure. And this is the world in which we live now, in which, you know, uh, there are legitimate questions about uh, Hillary Clinton's brain and how broken it is. <laughs> and 
And, and whether or not she uses a walker. And whether or we not she know. uses a walker. I mean, There's she, no way to know. she took the photos where she's leaning on that possibly chair, possibly a walker. It might be one of those rascals, you know, the ones that you it like have be. to sit in and you and scoot around. if you notice, People Magazine, I think this was pointed out uh, in the great mm -hmm. uh, journalistic endeavor uh, by your colleague, uh, Andrew, that... Um, there's it's not video that People Magazine released of her walking. Right. It's just an still image. Still images. There's, There's no, no gifts. Proof. There are no we gifts. What if you know in this know. in this modern age, uh, are, do you trust something that is put on the internet not in gift form? Frankly, By a I politician as well. I, I do you trust that? How can you make a BuzzFeed article out of this uh, People Magazine piece? It's impossible. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. And if you can't make a BuzzFeed listicle about it, how can true. it how can it be real? How can it happen? You can't know. So I think once again, Andrew is raising the tough questions that the mainstream media is simply falling down. They refuse to on the ask job. The it, it's not that they don't want to. I think they I think if somebody could get the Hillary Clinton uses a walker scoop. They would be all over it, but you know they're editors. They keep know. them away. I think it would get written and then spiked. Just it might. That's it's happened true. before with the Clintons. That's if we true. Recall. Totally. Isakoff and Newsweek. You know he was this close to breaking the Monica thing, and then Matt Drudge some, had to do it because some uh, guy in a fedora on the internet had to do it instead. Right. The the guys in fedoras who aren't on the internet should be doing these things. That's right. And you know the people instead, with the little card in their head. Right. That the one says that says press. press. They're afraid. They're afraid. And frankly, they're, they should be afraid of the Clintons. If you can recall, they did murder Vince Foster. That's right? possible. That's, that's, I'm joking. But no, seriously, they murdered Vince Foster. And as a, and this is one of the things Ruth Marcus got into in her amazingly great column. Uh, Ruth this Marcus is, is just trying to fact check your outrageous claims. Well, you know, I appreciate that. As somebody who has done his fair share of fact checking uh, for magazines and for newspapers, I think it's an important task of the uh, industry mm -hmm. and so when she sees somebody you know clearly making these horrible accusations about the ancient and wizened Hillary Clinton that you know she has and you know part of it let's be honest though part of it is that Ruth Marcus is feeling the Grim Reapers touch herself she's getting old and she doesn't understand things like snark and humor on the internet and uh, as a result you know what a, what she, so she writes these columns and she looks dumb and we she make does. fun of her on Twitter but she doesn't really use Twitter so she doesn't see it yeah. but now so, we're making fun of her on YouTube yeah, now we're making fun of her on on internet video which I'm sure she yeah, watches she probably won't see this either no I don't I don't think so the editors at the editors blog mm -hmm. at the Washington Free Beacon uh, you've called for her scout that she should be fired but I for me who will take over the role of uh, fact-checking obvious uh, sarcastic humor from I don't know uh, you know if we're right-wing anti-Hillary blogs look if, let's be honest if, if she goes if we are talking about the bench of humorless feminists yes. out there it's very deep it's a it's a we're there's no shortage of frankly staffers at slate or Salon, Pretty much or, I, I mean, you could just go to feministing.com uh, and pick yeah. a random byline, uh, and it will be a humorless feminist who could be there to fact check the Washington Free Beacon. Right. Uh, who, who was the, um, who's the fake feminist? The, remember the, the guy who, who the, he made up a, a, an author? I don't remember that. I don't know. This is I really killing the flow of the video, by the way. I, know, I, just, I, I, I hate to do this secretly, on your own show. Secretly, I, I'm going to cut out. All okay, this that's fair. <laughs> so, you don't need to worry uh, about all the terrible things I say. Okay. They're not going to make them in the okay. video. All of the terrible all things the I things say will be in that's there. That's all going right. to be in there. Okay. Everything stupid that I say. That gets cut out. When you're the editor and the host, that's true. And the I guy really, that I really, it, I really put myself at a disadvantage here, haven't you I? Can this pretty is, much, uh, I can do anything. This is a mistake. I have I immediately complete control over this decision. Everything that's said on the show. To be honest. So. All right, seriously, how do you play? How do you run? Just what's uh, the button the triggers. Running? I uh, hit this one, and then and then this one, and then that, and then and then back here. Uh, le left one, right, right two. Okay, left one, right two. Left three. Bottom left. Bottom one. So, okay. Remember right. that, and uh, we'll, we'll get the gun. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, you've got Mike Bibby. <laughs> I guess he sucks. Oh, he's white. The third quarter is now underway. Look LeBron out. got a crazy. Look at that. It's just like real life. LeBron, LeBron went down at halftime. It's just like real oh, life. Oh, boy. Get it. 
Get it. Fade away, yeah. Oh, you guys suck. Oh, that's goaltending. Boom. Count it. Goaltending is it. Goaltending You can literally the push a guy down. down. The pump bank, that's like a big okay. bass yeah, I'm not going to alley it to you guys. No You'd be ridiculous. But, um, oh, hey. The bet. Yeah, now, yes. The it's the least impressive dunk of anyone in the entire it's game. He still did it. <laughs> no. That's a good idea. Jump. Oh, banking in the three pointer. Jump up there, wait. Oh. Boom. Tie game. Oh, Tie game. Uh, so Get the, back on the court, LeBron. No, the thing about Sweet Drink Heart, some freaking Gatorade, man. There's literally nothing that's more. Oh, there's literally nothing in this world that's more fun than making fun of idiots on the internet, right? That's true. You, you nice seem to make a career out of that. It is, you know, one of the great things about working at the Washington Free Beacon is that you are easily entertained, mm -hmm. and no, there's no target too low, no. No idiot uh, too small for us to kind of highlight. Yeah, and, and I, I think that's one of the most endearing qualities of the Russian <laughs> Yeah, run, run, run. Yeah, no. Yes. Uh, see, so I did the old like, still run in circle. That's... I didn't see it coming. Whoop, whoop, How whoop, is there no, there's whoop. no backcourt in this game. Whoop, I, whoop, whoop. I question whoop, the whoop. rules. Uh, uh, You're just uh, running out the clock. I don't appreciate yes! it. Yes! Uh, come on! It works every time. Oh, come on! Yeah. There yeah. were two of you there! Yeah. Take your giant heads back to San Antonio. Oh, circle, 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 circle. Shoot! In close. No! Oh, uh, two oh, point game. Two point. You got Miami lucky. Wins. You got real lucky. It's just like the real Miami. Real lucky. Uh, you know, this is. Uh, I, I call Canadian. Maybe in 50 matches we'll be able to unlock uh, the Hillary. Well, the original plan. Did I, we tell them already what the original plan was? It was to play as yeah, Republicans versus yeah, Democrats. Yeah, but it turns out you have to play the game for like 10 hours before you yeah, unlock it. Yeah, which is really stupid. That? You can't even put in the little cheat codes. I don't. Mean, what? What kind either of that or we NBA couldn't, we, jam Either that or we just couldn't figure out how to do it. And which is an probably more could more likely. But uh, I I would like to unlock it because Spurs. I would like to see. If they represent her in her in her true form with a walker, with a walker, right, right. Well, I would assume you know this was before the walker story broke. But but with so a maybe DLC, they would, right? I, I think I would they assume, should put out yeah, a DLC. No, oh, yeah, totally. Would they update her to her current. Look, I would totally pay a dollar to be able to download Hillary Clinton as a walker, and then when she gets when she hits three shots in a row and she gets on fire, the like walker nice explodes or whatever. You know, San Antonio Spurs versus I could program the Miami Heat. I like that they should update it to the most uh, current speculation on Hillary Clinton's condition. Has she even denied? Uh, the whole uh, I I don't think anybody has her on record yet. Say that's a failure of media. Circle, circle, circle it, circle. Slam, slam. Yep. Ruth Marcus, when she watches this, she is just gonna cry herself to sleep. Once she, uh, once she gets her grandson to show her, once she figures out how, how to use the Internet, the Explorer internet works. how the tubes. Transmit the image. Yeah, look, oh, stop getting the rebound. Stop it. No. There we go. Five rebounds. Yeah, well, you know, the Heat are lazy. You're cheating. They don't You're block cheating. out. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating. Go, let's go. Take it in. Yeah. See that? That's LeBron. That's why everybody loves him. Jump up there. Jump some more. Yep. 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 Ah, get the he and so the first this is all Get in there. Oh, oh, what? Oh, it hit him off the head. Uh, head when it hits points. you in the head, that, that should be that should be a, like a bonus instead Someone of a penalty. Head ball. Five points. Nice little hook shot there. What? Oh, on, I didn't even do it that you time. It's the game. You should just keep doing that. It's the only Reps way you can bailing score. me out. It's the only way you can score. Too close. No. Boom! Yeah. Look at that. Take that. My girlfriend and I went to a Wizards Blues game in the middle of the season. It's one of the 95% of games that Derek Rose was in before. Mm -hmm. It's 
That's like I don't his know. whole thing is just felt, being injured all the time. Yeah, I mean, it really screwed me. I mean, frankly, it's all about me. And right. he totally screwed my fantasy basketball team. There, that that's I a thing that exists? Yeah. There's a fantasy basketball yeah. thing. Fantasy basketball is and a thing. In this fantasy basketball thing, first off, um, is being injured worth points? No. That's... But despite that fact, you went ahead and picked Derrick Rose. Well, Derrick Rose is supposed to be anyway. good. He was supposed to be healthy again. He, he had a really good spring. Oh, three points. You know that they, they said that like the last five times that he got injured. Oh! You should have gotten that shot off quicker. That's not how it works in real life. Dwayne Wade is shooting 100% from the floor. Can we, that's right. can we just highlight that for a second? Is that's that, how, that's not a, that's impossible. That's D Wade. That's, that's impossible. Literally Ridiculous. the most possible thing I've ever heard. I will be honest. I think that this game is horribly conceptually flawed. Look at their giant heads. Those, uh, I don't know, Dwayne Wade's Those head. hydrocephalic heads would just fall you. If you, like, hit him in the head, it would explode like a melon. I feel like for the other three, yeah. But for, for Tony Parker, that's about, like, proportional. That's true. He's got a big nose. He has a giant head, in other words. He has Well, it's not so much that he has a giant head. Just He has a very small neck. Maybe that, I feel yeah, like. That's and it looks it like is. it kind of wobbles around. You know, like, like a, a bobble. Like a, a real-life bobble. Right. Yeah. Seriously, though, um... Do you think that the left is is generally more humorless than the right, like on a on a overall scale? What would you say? Uh, I think when it comes to politics, they certainly certainly the pundits are right. Like your your uh, exactly. New Republic writers and your New York Magazine writers and your Salon dot comers and your you know I I think they you think they there's don't more take... mainstream like influential liberals that are humorless than than on the right I th yeah I like to think so but I mean look I frankly I just ignore it when the people on my side are humorless yeah. and there's a so lot that's of the problem. there's a lot of people on the right who are humorless let's I think be this honest. is the problem with politics we always want to look at the worst examples of the other side and yeah. think we're not like that but we honestly are. we are Every, like, we're all exactly both like sides that. have those people that yeah. are just like that you can go to twitchy uh, which I used to work at. I, uh, I was one of the founding editors of Twitchy, and and it does great work. But there are posts there. Um, they'll often have posts of just your everyday like left mm -hmm. liberal on Twitter doing something really stupid or saying something really asinine or being a hypocrite in some way. Yeah. Um, and you can think. Yeah. Jeez, look at the left. Yeah. And then you can have the Bergdahl people, you know, the, yeah, new information came later, whatever. But some of those people were legitimately like, oh, we need to get Bergdahl. Mm -hmm. Obama's such a weak idiot. Mm -hmm. He needs to do whatever he can to get Bergdahl out, including trading. Some of them literally said we should trade. Right, right. Um, you know, people for him. Yeah. And and then when it happens, sure. Obviously and that yeah, that's totally him. true. This is one of the things that I find very interesting about the left. They are very confused by the uh, attraction that the right has to the military. They assume that we are just into like guns and blowing stuff up. But like people, which, people. Well, which we fair. are. Too. That's true. We are. We are into that. But like you know, I, a large part of the uh, interest and appreciation for the military is this idea of duty and honor, right? right? And so when you when when you know uh, new stuff comes to light about how this guy was possibly a deserter, right. was possibly you know to like everybody in the military hates him. The, yeah. This Pew poll that came out today with, that had like 16 percent of people approved of the trade, or just 16 percent of veterans or some absurdly small number approved of the trade to get him back. You yeah, know? and the people that we trade him for are very, right. very, very, very. They're bad dudes. Bad they're guys. you know they're I mean, the one of them. They're Al Qaeda aligned war criminals. I mean, come on, absolutely. You know, they're, it's, they're terrorists. I mean, they're they're not they're not just like right enemy it's, combatants that just happen to be on the field of battle. Right, they're, it's, they're they're legitimate uh, legitimate terrorists. Uh, I know there's a picture of the one guy with five, five heads right. that he had cut Great off. Great photo, by the way. He yeah. did a, they did a real good job of framing like, that. As and... Iowa Hawk said, uh, this is how the Taliban releases five prisoners, right. which is in parks. Yeah, I think a lot of conservatives back when they were set back in February, I guess there was the latest like. Mm -hmm. Everybody remember that this guy is in captive, yeah. captivity, and we should try to get him. I think most people, most conservatives, 
would, would think of something like a raid to get him out. Not, not well, that's trading the thing, right? prisoners. Everyone, uh, you know, that's and not this what is, conservatives So everyone on the left is like, oh, yeah. you believe in, you can't leave any soldiers behind. And you got, I'm like, if you want to sure. schedule a special forces raid to go in there and murder every single Taliban that's holding him and get him back yeah. and take the risk of losing some guys, like, okay, like, that's you know, what conservatives that's, that's what we mean when we say leave no man behind. Yeah, It's sure. not like he uh, pieced out uh, at boot camp and went to smoke dope in Canada with all the right. other dirty hippies wearing their jeans and jean jackets and their, you denim, know. Just generally a lot of Playing with beavers, so you know, not the good kind of beavers, the ones that are actually like chewing down trees and stuff. I assume there's a lot of beavers in I'm still in the denim. Thing, denim. So. We're still sorry. I, I got off track. Just so much denim. Speaking of denim, <laughs> by the way, the, there was a funny discussion on Twitter today about uh, uh, suits with shorts instead Short of suits. pants. Short suits. And I didn't. I saw this. I it was you were talking you're, about. You're, it was a business insider thing. You're, you're, it's good that you missed it. I am not aware of the, the existence of short suits before today. Well. And I was much happier before I found out about them. Well, it's like Eric Erickson, Eric Erickson said, you know, if you show up to my Erickson? office wearing, yes, Leif Erickson, Leif Garrett. Eric's son. Leif. What? Leif. Eric Erickson, the <laughs> radio host slash uh, red state magnate, was saying if you show up to his office wearing those, he reserves the right to fire you on the spot. And I think that is the appropriate... I, as the managing editor of a, a web news site, mm -hmm. have let many, many things go. Uh, Adam Credo frequently walks into my office wearing... Uh, oh, God, that's what I meant. Uh, wearing uh, a Devil's Rejects t-shirt. And if if he showed up in my office in, like, ripped jeans, and if he shows What's up in my that? office wearing that, I'm like, you're a bum, but fine. If he wore a short suit in my office, I would immediately send him home. Like, it's... Un that's probably it's, a good call. It's unbecoming. Of a man, of a human. just a, a man, an adult male human, to wear something like that. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. oh get down there! Get down. Incoming. Uh, yes. Oh, you gotta be yes. Freaking kidding me! I think we should have some sort of bet in the last. Uh, uh, goaltend. That's like half your points. I'll bet that you goaltend in the next period. How about that? Cheater. Whoever whoever wins gets to send a tweet from the other one. No, I have. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, 15 seconds. You I can have. do it. Look at that. So I get to send a tweet, right? That was the. Look, it's the. This, you know, back. there's still a quarter left, right? There's. Oh, crap. No, wait. You cheated somehow. I didn't cheat. You, you added what? a quarter. You forgot. How did you add a quarter? You forgot that we had only played three quarters. That's a three brain quarters. cramp. That's all you get in this game. No, you get four. It's the oh, basketball. Stupid basketball. You get away. Three. Yeah! I, he, can't he can't miss! He can't miss! He can't miss! He is shooting 120% from the floor. This is absurd. So, Alright, alright, alright. The, the whole tweet thing is still on. It's totally still on. It's 30, 33 seconds. You're not going to add another quarter, though. I didn't add a quarter. That's not how sports work. I'm going to tweet the worst possible thing. No, there's, there's no tweeting. It's okay, we agree. It's we did not agree to that. There was no handshake. Yeah, man. See? Can I, uh, what? I didn't even see if it went in. That <laughs> might have been a five-point shot. Final score is Ridiculous. Miami wins. Well. All right. Well, I won both. that's two out of three. I got two terrible. tweets. No, I'm you gonna... don't. You know no, what? there's no two tweets. Uh, I did not agree to any. You we can't agreed. Just, you there's can't a just, handshake. You, yeah, man. See, you can't just uh, create a bet halfway through the game when you're already winning. There was a handshake. There was no the handshake. The there was. There, I didn't. There's. It's not on the video. Yeah. First of all. Yeah, man. See, you can't just edit me into shaking your hands. Yeah, man. See, well, thanks for coming on. Um, yeah. Hopefully, Ruth Marcus sees this and and uh, writes another angry op-ed. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna edit that in. It's gonna it's be gonna edited. Be it's gonna go right in there. I did not. I was gonna, tricked. That's right. And then, and Don't believe. See, that's not gonna make it in.